Today, we will deep dive into two crucial licensing models for Microsoft Windows Server, core based licensing and processor based licensing. We will explore what they mean, why they exist and how they apply across different Windows Server versions. By the end, you will have a solid understanding of how these licensing models work and their practical implications. What is core based licensing? Microsoft introduced core based licensing with server 2016 and it remains the standard for windows server versions up to 2022 key points licensing is based on physical cores unlike earlier models where the number of processors known or cpus were con was considered core based licensing focus on the physical cores in your server cpu licensing requirements all physical cores in the server must be licensed. There is a minimum requirement of 16 cores per server even if the server has fewer cores. 8 cores per server. That's the way how Microsoft is taking extra money from our pocket. Why the change? The rise of multi-core processors made processor based licensing outdated. A single processor could now have dozens of cores which wasn't fairly priced under the old model. Core based licensing ensures fairness, business pay based on the actual processing power of their servers, scalability, cost increases with the additional cores, aligning better with server capabilities. Example, let's make this simple. You have a server with two processors, 12 cores per processor, 24 cores total what you will need you must license all 24 cores or and core licenses are sold in a packs of two cores or 16 cores so you could purchase 12 packs of two cores or one pack of 16 cores plus four pack of two cores let's move ahead with the processor based licensing model Processor-based licensing model was the standard for the Windows Server version 2008-2008 R2 and 2012. Remember the word I used was, so now they are not in anymore. But still we have those companies who have Windows 2008, 2008 R2 and 2012 servers. We have to plan accordingly. But yes, we can upgrade as well. So key points, licensing is based on processors or CPUs. Each license covers one physical processor regardless of how many cores it has. Simple model, if your server has two processors, you need two processor license, no need to count cores. Whether a processor has two cores, four cores or 12 cores, the cost will be the same. Why it was replaced? There might be a question in your head. Processor based licensing worked well when most processors had similar count, core count. However, the arrival of multi core processors made this model less fair. Let's take an example. A single processor with two cores cost the same to license as one with the 16 cores, which created inefficiencies. Let's take an example of scenario. You have a server with two processors each with 8 cores, 16 cores total, what you need? You need two processor license regardless of core count. Let's see the main key differences between core based and processor based licensing. Aspect core based licensing and processor based licensing. Unit of licensing, physical cores in the server, physical processor CPUs in the server. Introduced in Windows Server 2016 and later processor based windows server 2008 to 2012 minimum requirement so you have to always think about the minimum requirement section 16 cores per server 8 cores per processor earlier it was none scalability core based licensing is planned and designed on scalability alliance with multi core processor as well earlier it was fixed cost per processor virtualization right limited in standard unlimited in data centers same limited in standard unlimited in data centers 
तो हाउ डज लाइसेंसिंग अफेक्ट वर्चुअलाइजेशन बिफोर दैट लेट्स गो बैक टू आवर स्लाइड वन वाई कोर बेस्ड लाइसेंसिंग वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस इट माइट बी अ क्वेश्चन इन टू मेन ऑफ योर माइंड The transition to core-based licensing was driven by the need to adapt to technological advances, fair pricing for processing power, multi-core processors mean more computing power. Core-based licensing ensures you pay the actual power of your server, unlike processor-based licensing, which ignored core counts. Flexibility in virtualization. Virtualized environments often split. Processing power across multiple virtual machines, or known as VMs. Core-based licensing aligns cost with the distribution. Predictability for cloud and hybrid environment. Cloud services often build based on core usage, so core-based licensing creates consistency across on-premise and cloud infrastructure. How does licensing affect virtualization? Now let's back to that. both licensing model includes right to create virtual machines but the number depends upon the addition you choose core based licensing 2016 2022 windows server standard covers up to 2 vms per 16 core license windows server data centers includes unlimited vm rights allowing you to create as many as vms as your hardware support processor based licensing windows server standard covers 2 vms per processor Windows Server Data Center includes unlimited virtualization rights. Let's take an example: a small business with a limited virtualization need. A startup using Windows Server Standard 2016 to run two virtual machines for email and file sharing. They purchase 16 core license for this single eight-core processor server. Enterprise with heavy virtualization, a cloud service provider using Windows Server Data Center 2022. to host hundreds of vms they license all 64 cores across four processors to enable unlimited vm to summarize this core based licensing modern scalable and aligned with today's multi core server processor based licensing simpler but outdated suitable for old server environment so next slide is comparing licensing models across version here you can see all windows server versions their license type bases like physical processors or physical core the virtualization rights and minimum requirements for that so choosing the right licensing model how do you choose that If you need minimum virtualization, one or two VMs, choose standard edition. If you require unlimited virtualization or heavy workloads, go with data center edition. For modern servers with many cores, use the core-based licensing model for Windows Server 2016-2022. For legacy servers, the processor-based model applies to Windows Server 2012 and other versions. 